All right. <clears throat> so, because there's probably some confusion about it, I decided to make a video on how to use the UE4 Spotify Web API. All right. So, what you do first is you download this project. So, you just download the master branch, download zip, and once you've done this, extract it obviously. And you can go ahead and launch the new project. This may take one or two minutes. What you will do next is you go into the uh, Spotify developer page, which is uh, this here. You go to developer.spotify.com and then you can, you can, well, create your own apps. Uh, you can create your developer account, which is bound into your Spotify account. Then you create a new app. You just name it whatever you want. And now here comes the interesting part, right? Um, once you get there, you need to add a redirect URLs. And so in order for the default page for this project to work, so you need to use 127001, not localhost. Localhost won't be working. And because Spotify says you that this one is an invalid URI, you need to use the HTTP in front of it. And port 8890, just set it as default but you can use whatever you want you hit save and you wait for it to build <coughs> this may take one or two minutes great so now it's starting up and this may take a little bit of time too. So what you need to know is um, you need to know your client ID and your client secret. These are the two things that you'll need. So what we're going to do is to I'm just going to reset the key here for once. Get a new one. Wait for Unreal 4 to launch. I'm using 422. Should be working well with 419, and I believe 418 should be working well too. All right. <coughs> so, what you want to do is uh, you copy over your client ID and your client secret. All right. So the player controller is the one who manages it right now. So client ID, this one, and client secret. You copy that over to our well, board is 8890. Um, I would just leave these two. I don't know, you can change the port however you want, but at least it does work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete the uh, tab close script. And in order for me to newly authenticate, let's do something. User read birthday, user read private, I don't know. So now it should be as easy as uh, hitting play. See, I'm hitting play and now I can authorize this page. Now, if I hit OK, what will happen is, um, all right, let me just hit OK. And now, see, I'm getting redirected to this page, 127.001.8890. And this document, or this page, is basically this one. See, success is titled, and you have a header success, and you can close this document now, which is basically this one. Um, default, by default, I've added um, a little JavaScript which automatically closes the page because what you really want is only this code and it is being 
it is being sent over using the URL and so it fetches that one and yeah well basically then it, it gets a refresh token or a bit of you get a authorization token and with this authorization token or access token you, you got um, a refresh token and this refresh token works indefinitely as long as your app is being authorized which the user can revoke in theory or if you I don't know change flags or so he needs to reauthorize so you get the new flags or, or scopes as they call it but it saves though so there's a there's the controller and the token save game um, so your refresh token is being saved and you don't need to reauthorize on each startup so if, if I had just stop and hit play there's no browser window popping up or anything it's just going back to there and from there on it works just like that um, can set the volume and then well I can show you this is all working see um, oh, all right let's all right so yeah see it, it changes I can it play and next or uh, I cannot hit next right now I don't know maybe I'm not in a playlist um, yeah this is how it works how, how you set it up and well and that's it for the video